Sleepy Moddy here back with another video and today we're taking our paint cans and aiming them at our video card. Now we've gone ahead and painted ourselves a CPU cooler which you can find up in that video right there and we made plans to go ahead and anodize another one for a really epic finish and that video is coming soonish. I still need to get around to our organizing that but for today we're checking out a video card. Now I have this GeForce GTX 660 that has unfortunately got one dead DVI connection and one dead HDMI connection and another dead connection and it just started to die overall. On top of that, the fans actually started to fall apart. The lubricating parts of the fans weren't lubricated anymore. It was making a rattle and essentially just killed itself after a couple days of trying to actually fix it. Which you can find out in that build log or actually build update video right there where we actually turned out when we tried to pull it apart for the final time, the fan blades basically snapped off. So hence why there's no fans in there because, well, they're in the bin because they can't really be fixed. But today we're giving it a pretty cool colour scheme of black with some red accents. So with that being said, let's get started with painting. Now before we get painting, we do need to go ahead and disassemble the card. If you're working with a card that you're actually planning on putting back in the system, do be very careful and make sure you go ahead and wipe everything off. And when you're cleaning up the cooler itself, make sure you use your isopropyl alcohol to remove any thermal compound. Take a piece of duct tape and slap that over the place where the cooler makes contact with the GPU core. The reason for this is you don't want any paint or anything contaminating this area as well. It's the part that touches the core and it's probably not the best to do that. Now yes, I do know for those people who will point out that tape is not the best thing to use but at this stage it's quick and easy to grab and won't exactly damage us too far. And with that, we're going to go ahead and jump outside. Now today we're using a mix of flat black paint as well as some cherry red gloss paint to give the red parts a little bit of a glossy accent when going ahead and looking into our system. On top of that, we're actually painting the thin array as well for a nice stealth finish. Apply your paint in simple coats like so and you're pretty much ready to go. Baby, I'm baby, I'm Baby, I'm ballin'. Once you've gone ahead and applied all the paint, leave it for about 20 to 30 minutes to go ahead and make touch dry so you can pick it up and check that you haven't missed anything and leave it for about a day or so to go ahead and get a fully set job. Now, once again, if you are putting it back in your system, I do recommend leaving it for that one to two day period to make sure that all the paint is dry and nothing's going to go a bit funny when put back in your system. Now, in terms of paint, I personally went ahead and just used thin and light coats of just standard spray paint that you can grab at the uh, hardware store, but it is sort of not really recommended to use Use something like Plasti Dip or Automotive Paint as those paints are generally thicker and will create a larger barrier between the surface area and the air so it'll be a lot harder to cool down your card though with that being said you can definitely use those paints but once again your temperatures might be higher than the five or so degrees that we found last time we did these tests. With that being said we're going to reassemble our card and it looks pretty much like this. Now at this stage we're basically done put all your tools away make sure you have plenty of thermal compound in between the core and the cooler and you're ready to chuck back in your computer. Now, with that being said, here is our final look at our card. Now, whilst it doesn't look exactly that striking, I don't really think on camera, this is one striking card in real life. The flat black is very well complemented by the glossy red accents on the card and overall will definitely go really great in a black and red build or even a build with just standard white LEDs. This will look like one epic graphics card. To make an even better part of this video card, I'll go ahead and also to paint the rear I.O. panel by removing it and giving it the 
same flat black treatment to make it sort of all one stealthy looking cooler. And with that being said, that's kind of it for this video. Once again, it's a really quick and easy process and if you want a really fast way to make your video card very personalised, you can go ahead and do this yourself. Though there is one more thing I do need to point out and this will definitely void warranty. So, if you're out of warranty, this might be a cool thing to do, but if you are still in warranty and want to keep that warranty, you might want to hold off until it goes out of warranty. But overall, this is one quick and simple way to customise your card and man, does it look pretty awesome. So guys, give us a like if you like this video and also to get subscribed if you want to see our video where we actually anodize an Intel cooler or any of our videos we do other than that. So guys, get subscribed and thanks for watching. What?